let's do this. Lazarus, and I believe after this, we can um, put an end. Curse of the Blinds, eh, it doesn't really bother me without a spacebar item. Or a D6. FHG1. F T K Z. Beautiful. Um, ooh, baby, a telepills. I'm gonna go to our curse room right away. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't, uh, except for the fact that if you had illuminated me with the information that it was full of spiders, I probably would have said, you know what? Let me have lunch first. I'm gonna take a couple appointments. Maybe duck out of work early. We can do the spider thing tomorrow. The spiders will still be there. No consumables, of course, for completing that nightmare. Attack fly. Actually, a pretty big bonus uh, when you're not guaranteed. Oh, boss rush. Right, let's go fast. Um, actually, a pretty big bonus when you're not guaranteed to do any damage. So this is, uh, I'm, I'm happy with this. I, I did do an off-camera Samson run prior to, oh, uh, Tinted Rock. Prior to our last off-camera cane run. And uh, I, I talked about it ad nauseum in that cane run because it was so amazing to me how terrible the Samson run, or how terrible the, the Lazarus run was. Another tinted rock there. We got no consumables, or I guess because the run will never make it to YouTube. I got no consumables over that run, literally. Uh, well, okay, figuratively, almost literally. I got no keys over the entire run. I got literally three cents. I got one spirit heart. I think I got zero bombs as well by the fourth floor. And when you've skipped that many item rooms, or you've been forced to skip that many item rooms, let's keep the, the nomenclature there, you know, empowering. Um, I, uh, I, I figured we had no chance and I was right and we died and, you know, Lazarus rags popped and I was like, nah, this, this boss still has like 70 health left. I don't know what 70 health looks like in Isaac terms, but it's not good for us. Uh, please be our boss room, yeah. So we we are um, we're going for boss rush. If this run ends up being a little bit too slow to to get boss rush done, that's okay. We'll still finish the run as best as we can. We'll have a good time. But uh, to be honest with you, the attack fly helps out a lot. It's it's like having a fly that circles around you and does a little bit of damage if you aim it appropriately. And by a little bit of damage, they actually mean like quite a lot of damage, as you can see. Oh, I wonder what that could be. We got a cube of meat. Maybe this could be our, our, our cube of meat run as well. We could kill all the birds with one stone. That's probably not how that phrase really goes, unless you've got some kind of, you know, bird gatling gun. Got to be very careful not to get too close with uh, attack fly, especially against enemies that have a lot of mobility. Because uh, we need to, unfortunately, not take any damage on this floor. We didn't pick up any spirit arts. Curse of the Unknown doesn't bother me. We have one and a half HP. But soon to be two and a half. The most important thing is just that we don't get hit. If we don't get hit, we can guarantee ourselves a deal with the devil. As we saw in the last run, not all deals with the devil are created equally. But even a uh, an early Guppy's hairball can make a world of difference when it comes to the late game. If you get lucky enough to pick up some Guppy items on the on the sly. Now, I would, that being said, I feel like we kind of, it's okay. I feel like we kind of did our, uh, we did our part on the last run. We served our time. Might be a better way to express that phrase. Thank God for both orbitals here. Um, so I, I would be a little bit offended if the game chose to not give me better deals with the devil here. If you're wondering why I'm not shooting everything, by the way, like all the poops and fires, again, boss rush mode. It might not end up being relevant, but hey, man, you probably, thank God, you probably end up spending, uh, you know, three seconds per poop. That adds up. Blood rights. Blood rights is bad. This is a bad item that I will carry with me because I don't have a choice in the matter. But I want you to know that I would rather have almost anything else. But maybe we'll, uh, we'll get our wish. I don't want to fight Krampus here. We'll see what happens. I think I've done very well so far, you gotta admit, we're still kicking it here. Sometimes the if you've got no pressure, it's a lot easier to take no damage. But we got a lot of pressure right now. And it's building. Ooh, he's hoping for a bomb because there was a oh that other key is pretty nice. Um But I was hoping for a bomb because there is a tinted rock. Don't let me down. Don't explode either. That's the other thing. It's the second part of that Beatles song. Don't let me down, and then in parentheses it says, also don't explode. 
So we're at full health. We haven't taken any damage on this floor. That's that's leftover vestige, vestigial damage from the last floor. We're not making... That's extremely helpful. We're not making extraordinary time, but it doesn't matter. We're making good enough time that it's not going to be a determining factor if we manage to get some kind of good momentum-inducing item from our deal with the devil here. I still would prefer not to take... Well, I'd prefer to take damage, or take no damage in all contexts, almost. But I'd very much prefer to take no damage here. Okay, that pill will save. Let's do this. It's Dingle. This should not be a high-pressure fight. This is, this is exactly just putting your money where your mouth is. I'm not going to worry too much about speed running Dingle here, getting Dingle killed in the fastest way possible. But I, I do like those four quadrants of the map where Attack Fly lines up with the directions in which we can actually reliably shoot. Like this, for example. That's good. Easy fight. Speedball sucks. No deals. God damn it. Now, it's not necessarily a bad thing if we got an item, but we didn't. Might as well take this. There's two of them. Are you a wizard? Fantastic. Paralysis. You know what, game? Nobody likes you. We're going to head down to the next floor. I have a key. The key gives us access to an item room. The item room could give us bounties, the, the likes of which the world has never seen before. Sacrificial dagger we will take. This is going to be an orbital focused run. I didn't expect to want to go in here. Don't even get me started on this stupidity of me having Are You a Wizard and choosing to fight in a mob trap room. But the fact that we have these weird three concentric orbitals makes me feel a whole hell of a lot better about the situation. Let's put it that way. Like, we're we're basically doing a homebrewed challenge run here. And hey, you want to make your homebrewed challenge run a little harder than the actual ones? How about, um, you know, do like fucking Family Man. You can fire tears, they do no damage. And you got to do Boss Rush. So, have fun, motherfucker. We'll see you in 2015 for the expansion. I would like to go a little faster, but I'll admit that uh, I sincerely... Ooh, that's, that's a decent trinket. And the key is nice. Uh, I sincerely think that if, uh, or I sincerely wanted to pick up Sacrificial Dagger. It helps us out to an enormous degree. Does good damage. That's good. Good, good stuff's good. And this is good. The keys are out of control. I do want to go to that curse room. I am, you know, waiting to ensure that it won't be damage that will eventually contribute to us not getting a deal with the devil on this floor. I'm sure the game will just not give us a deal with the devil because we had one on the last floor. Hey, don't spend it all in one place. You got a spirit heart on that deal with the devil, you ungrateful bastard. Notched Axe is better than Blood Rites. For us. This is okay. Uh, yeah, sure, a bomb's fine. I'm not going to use Notched Axe too often. I'm going to use it probably almost exclusively to... You know what? I'm going to check our curse room. Almost exclusively to get uh, Tinted Rocks. We got Friendly Spiders. I wanted to leave before many of those Friendly Spiders killed themselves. Because we might need those to help us out on one of these rooms. Not loving our uh, our item room action. Or sorry, this is not an item room. It is an item room. That was, wasn't it? Yeah. Not loving our item room action thus far then. But it's all good. We don't need anything with that red heart. Um, you know, I can understand the temptation to walk across some spikes to pick up a nickel. I've been in middle school before, but uh, it's not something I'm too perturbed with. You know, shops are on the fringe of my, my mind right now. I'm not necessarily considering them of the most principal importance. Now, I'm very lucky on this run. Not to toot my own horn, but I got some experience with familiars, right? I've, I've done the challenges. I, I kind of like using familiars. I think it's a cool mechanic. And I think it's a, a challenging mechanic without being impossible. Which is neat. And occasionally a little rare as well. This all being said... That was just... That was awful. This all being said, this is not easy. Almost walked right into that one as well. Almost... Almost walked into the the shop. What am I thinking? The shop? Playoffs? I just hope we don't win a game. Good. This is good. Stay back. We're we're slow, right? But this it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when we finish. Oh, that's bad. As long as we finish properly. The keys are good. Keys are good. I know there was an opportunity back there, by the way, to possibly trade 
one bomb for two bombs. And in a hard mode, opportunities like that, that is the bread and butter of uh, giving yourself a chance to actually do good work. But I'm holding back for now. Very important to me that we beat Chubb without taking Chad without taking damage. I don't give a shit about finding a tinted rock right now. I don't give a shit about a black market. I give all the shits about what just happened right there. That was some real damage on our part. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, ho, ho. Wasn't scared for a minute. No deal with the devil. We're leaving. Didn't use notched uh, axe at all. That's okay. Next floor. We got keys. Curse of the blind. Can't see our items. That's that's nice. I like when that happens. Get out of there. So this floor, this is the worst. When you have the spirit hearts, and yet you uh, lose them on the floor, don't get a deal with the devil in spite of not taking red heart damage. And now, exactly, have to not take any damage at all. Burkano is a decent rune. Hey, use your freaking uh, notched axe to charge, um, get mushrooms. No. I don't trust him. Did that guy just explode while he died? Like, that, that strikes me as some horse freaking malarkey here. If he was in the Game of Thrones, he would be from House Malarkey. Stay, stay back with that bullshit, okay? You don't get to fire that often. The money is... Whoa, 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 whoa. That can make a... Uh, a nasty bomb? <laughs> oh, the words that I sometimes say don't feel good coming out of my mouth hole. Good. I, I am almost at the point where I'm like, well, fuck, if we already took some damage, why don't we just use a sacrificial dagger to kill enemies as quickly as possible? Well, and then this is why, because we get rooms like this where we can't do shit. Um, we're going to have to be a little faster, and that's not good. I still think the game is playing unfair. That those first, getting an early deal with the devil with horseshit items, is, or no items at all, as the case may be, is just a, it's not a death sentence, but puts you way behind the eight ball. What have our other items been? Well, we got notched freaking axe, blood freaking rights, attack freaking fly, little freaking chub, and sacrificial freaking dagger. I mean, a couple of those are okay, despite the prefix I've attached to them. HP up is is fine, but not carryable right now. As in, it, it doesn't carry us. Ah, a little scary. That's okay. There we go. Um, I mean, I'm I'm actually I'm surprised that the run's going as well as it is. But that's gonna change probably as the game gets harder and harder. I apologize for not using notched axe. By the way, I haven't seen. You know what? Get out of here with your horse shit. I haven't seen any uh, any tinted rocks. That might just be me not seeing them. I should probably start popping it just randomly to maybe get a black market. Who knows if a black market could uh, could save us here? You, you got to be kidding me on this, right? Hey, Northern Line needs to get the boss rush mode. Make sure that he gets no damage, orbitals only. And uh, put them up against some of those champion enemies we got stored up across the fucking, you know, the holy grail leap that Indiana Jones made in the last crusade. Basically what I'm getting at is it's bullshit. Don't even give me that, Ruka. I'm in no, no mood to deal with this right now. We're also going very, very slowly. I would say that boss rush is not really in the cards for us right now. There is a small chance we get a deal with the devil on this floor in spite of my own ineptitude. And I always appreciate that the game holds that out. It dangles it. Hey, you didn't blow it, buddy. Just get your hopes up and we'll let them down more gently uh, in like a single room here. So we've already been to our item room. This is correct. Where would we pick up? I, I can't even remember this. Oh, it was HP up. That's fine. You know, not going to win the day for us or anything like that, but it, it's okay. We're gonna fight gurglings! It's the worst enemy to have to get close to. Oh, uh, well, and there you go. I think even though you think I'm probably fighting gurglings the wrong way, you have to have some sympathy for the lack of damage we're doing. 
combined with uh, this boss. Almost any other boss, there are a few, but almost any other boss, we could at least get in there and say, you know what, we're going to do some damage this way. Also, our, uh, our Cuba Meat Dreams are falling apart. That was some amazing work right there. I'm impressed with that. We got a box. Are you a wizard pill? Lovely. Well, it's down to the next floor. Just so we have a chance of keeping this uh, boss rush bullshit alive here. Necropolis 1. If there is a benevolent god in the universe, what they will allow me to do is not take red heart damage. Oh, Jesus. Just let me... You might be saying, hey, dummy, stop I'm stop from uh, using your sacrificial dagger. It's going to get you hurt, and then you're not going to be able to get a deal with the devil. Yo, have mercy here. We're in a, a bit of a catch-22 situation here. We've got to go fast. We don't do any damage, though. How do we do damage? Run into enemies, I guess. I know we're missing some HP, but again, we got to go. Well, thank God we got that spirit heart earlier, so that we haven't lost red heart damage yet. Would be very easy to... Really, game? Could you spread out some of the luck? Would it kill you? There is some element of horse hockiness on this run, and if you don't agree with that, you're being disingenuous. Look, this room, I can get down with it. A lot of the rooms that have preceded and succeeded it, and or will succeed it, I guess I should say, um, are, are horse shit. And I hate them forever, and I hope that they never have a pleasant life. But of course... Yeah, that was bad. Of course it would be the last run, right? Of course it would be the last r run. I All we gotta try to do now is say absolutely fuck it to the item room. And we're gonna, we're gonna basically say goodbye to this floor, okay? And you're gonna hate me for this decision. I think. But time is running out. Oh my god. What was I saying earlier about bosses that, you know, you don't you don't want to fight if you can't get close to them? Yeah, this is uh this is an example. Well, I'll tell you what. First things first. Get that sorted out. So I'm not going to worry too much about being fast against the bloat. I'm in principle going to worry about not taking damage. The way we're going to make up time is by not going to our rooms. And all I'm going to do, and then again, it's it's very much compromising the overall integrity of this run. Which is why I think you might be mad. But, what, all we're going to do is try to get in the boss rush room. The game can't keep items away from us forever. If we can make it into the boss rush room... Oh, come on. If we can make it into the boss rush room... We're gonna get something. You can't stop it. We might even get a deal with the devil here. Fuck. All we gotta do is get into the boss rush room. Why are we skipping an item room if we wanna win the run? Because the only thing that matters to me is beating the boss rush. This is the, the be all, the end all, the end or. Similarly, you know, let's use a key right here. We don't have very much time and it takes us forever to finish rooms. But let's, let's do it. This is where you get your beautiful sacrificial dagger action happening. Oh no, I took damage. What, what, whatever will I do without the opportunity to get a deal with the devil? Oh, I don't know. Continue doing exactly the same freaking thing I've had to do for the whole... This is like some... Some like Carrie Underwood. Maybe next time he'll think before he cheats levels of fucking rage that I've got brewing right now. I might have saved a little trouble for the next run. Like, seriously, I'm mad. And it's dangerous for the game. Because little Chubb gives us a chance to be mad in a productive way. We can fuck up and still... Oh, there's a tinted rock right there. Okay. We can fuck up and still survive for a while. All we gotta do is beat the room. Chemical peel. That's a damage upgrade. I'm coming for you. I'm going home, going to grab my shotgun. You can't. Oh, gurglings. Oh, no. You hold no fucking power over me. Bring it on. 
When I bleed, you bleed. This might be a better room than our curse room to actually, or than our spirit heart room to actually crush with uh, notched axe, by the way, just because there's so much shit around. Game wants a fight, well now he's got one, he ain't seen me crazy yet. All right, I have gone a little insane here, I'll admit. And the beauty of this run, and it is B-E-A beautiful, is that, come on, we're still slow. One room like this is all it takes to completely fuck this plan over. Get out of my dreams, get into my car. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, ha <laughs> ha, spooked you. You were a little scared there for a minute, look, I got a head-on collision here. Okay, newfound glory. There's a band I would discuss if my brain was not reserved by other parties right now. Boom, baby, too easy. Are we really gonna do this? Answer, yes, oh, okay. Are we even gonna be able to beat, uh, okay, are we even gonna be able to beat our mom fight if we get there in time? I don't think so. Credit card, interesting. Joker. Oh, for freaking sake, come on with this horse shit. <laughs> oh, the boss room's right there. All dreams are suddenly reality once more. No, 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 you don't understand. You gotta die, you gotta die right now. My HP is meaningless. No, we're going in. Drop a hot load on this shit, mom. I'm rotating my knife through your shit sack. You're going down, the black hearts are gonna get you. The black hearts are go Oh, you thought you had me. That is a foolish mistake on your part, game. I am inside of you. Oh, good. Bomb bag. Now we gotta fucking survive. Well, thank you. Thank you for that, Gemini. Or whatever would you like to describe yourself as. Um, I gotta be straight with you. I don't like my chances of winning on this room. But I made it in. And I think, you know, I mean, turn that off now. I think you have to admit, if I hadn't made it into this, or if I hadn't made all those sacrifices, I only had like a 20 second window. Like it was, it was not easy to get in here, but um, I may I may have sacrificed our overall chances on the run to get boss rush. If you're gonna hate me for that, you're gonna hate me for that, but hey, this is what I need to, fi to fill out the post-it note. Definitely wishing that maybe I made a little bit more of an effort to do boss rush on an earlier run because, uh, you know, this, this, is, uh, this is not a fun run right now. And that happens from time to time. You think I like doing boss rush mode where like 90% of my damage comes from fucking orbitals? You think I love that? We're dead. We're gonna die. I'm mad. I'm. Oh, this is the last Isaac run for today. I'll tell you that much. Of course we got Curse of the Blind on this fucking... Uh, uh, oh, we're Lazarus. Good. Come back. Do slightly more damage. I haven't given up. You know, it might sound like I've given up. I haven't... I'm dead. I've given up. Goodbye. Goodbye, game. I will play you again tomorrow, but for today, you can go fuck yourself and then think about what you've done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.